Alright, man. Talk to talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. So today, I'm going to be watching a video from a guy called Icon Got You. I believe that's what the name of his channel is. Icon Got You. Um, he don't have that many subscribers, so I want y'all to go over there and subscribe to his channel. I like the video that he put out, so I want to, uh, you know, go through what he said and everything. So I'm going to get into the topic after I do the spill. This is Torture Talk. If you are not subscribed and you want to subscribe, please consider subscribing. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content and that's free. If you want to leave a donation, thank y'all for all the donations. I really appreciate it. If you want to leave a donation, link will be on the screen and in the description box. All the beautiful ladies, all the beautiful ladies, y'all know what to do. Put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. Just don't harass them. You know what I'm saying? All that good stuff. Trying to bring us all together. And um, they called me the Hidden Gem. You know what I'm saying? I got that name from a, from a fan. He said, yo, I, I really appreciate your content. Thank you. And I really want to say I love you guys. I really appreciate you guys. I'm trying to do this for a living. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing other things, but I'm trying to do this for a living. And it seems like it's going to happen. So I really appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for all the donations, too. I really appreciate that, too. Goes a long way. I brought a new system here, you know? And, um, yeah, man. So, look. We're going to get into this video. <laughs> all right, so, look. The video is basically about should rappers check in. You know what I'm saying? And he's talking about Cali. He's talking about a bunch of different things. And he makes a very compelling case. Some things I, I disagree with. Other things I agree with. But we're going to watch the video, you know, and then um, come back and discuss. Let's go. My mama always told me that I was going to be a loading child. I'm sorry it took a while. Think I needed time to try and figure out. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, man, what's good with y'all? What's good? <sighs> I'm back, man. So we got to talk about something. And the West Coast, specifically California, needs to be studied, bro. And it all got started off. And also first, like, comment, and subscribe to your boy. Because we pushing up. And that's all I'm going to say on that. But yeah, no, Jay at home. Um, Put, gave me a comment and it said I wish Biggie said that rappers going to LA don't mix it then got me thinking of all these rappers who have died in California and you know as you do the research it makes you start to wonder is the problem with the rappers and not checking in is the problem with California in itself is it just uh when other rappers come to california is it just because the outsider thing or is it really just prevalent to the area that's really what i was trying to figure out and all right so i want to speak on that um i think what i think what he's saying he's asking the question of of do people come to cali and should they have to check in and is it one of those things where you have to do it? Um, I'll put it to you like this. Checking in to me is one of those things where you damn if you do, you damn if you don't. Because there was a time when somebody checked in and they still got knocked off. I think that some people use the phrase checking in and I think it's another way of saying extortion because some of these people they want you to, they want you to basically pay for their services that's what they want pay for their protection or pay for people not to do anything to you because people love out of town out of towners because if they know where you at they're gonna rob you or kill you either one so but let's keep it going it was so crazy because we could go back as far as from Biggie and Pac is when it really all starts is the Biggie and Pac situation. 
both artists were taken out on the West Coast. You, the one thing we can say about with Pac, at least Pac was taken out in Vegas. So the reason why I say with Pac being taken out in Vegas, we can't really associate that with California. Oh, uh, yes, you can. <laughs> California and Vegas is only four hours away from each other. Yes, you can. It's not that not that far away from each other. Absolutely not that far away. So you you absolutely can because people will drive. So, but I mean that's your opinion. But I understand where you're going with it. You're basically saying like California, kind of saying like you speak of the West Coast. Most people just think of Cali. You know what I'm saying? Because I know they're gonna say, "Oh, it's the West Coast. It's the West Coast." I, I, going with the West Coast, predominantly a lot of these is when we talk West Coast, we're really talking California, and I mean that respectfully to anybody on the West Coast. Like when we say West Coast, we're not talking about Seattle, Washington on the West Coast. <laughs> like whenever somebody says the West Coast, they're talking about predominantly California. So mm -hmm. we're focusing on California. Is more why I said all that. And so now when we look at it, Biggie was killed in California. And then you even have other rappers that were killed in California, like a Nipsey Hussle. You have the PMB rock situation. You have Pop Smoke. You have Quando Rondo's homie that got killed in California. You got Slim 400 killed in California. Tan the God killed in California. Money Swan, Money Sign Suede is his name. Money Sign Suede, I believe. He was killed in California. I believe I said PNB Rock killed in California. Sea Grant killed in California. Kid Cali killed in California. And even um, that look like what's the name right there? He looks like a uh, Uzi Vert. <laughs> but I got some things to say after when he's speaking. So let's go. Kerr Riches, Kerr Riches, Kerr Riches, killing California. And we now some of these rappers that I have named, some of them are out of towners, and then some of them are people who are known to the area, such as you know, uh, Money Sign Suede or Indian Red Boy and Nipsey Hustle. So we can take them, and I believe Kid Cali, I've I named Kid Cali, so it's Slim 400 too. We can name, and I believe Tan the God is from the Bay Area. So we're going to leave them for a separate category. All right. So here's my thing about that. Right. Here's my thing. And and this is this is I'm just going to speak. I'm just going to keep it 100. I'm going to keep it 100. Only rappers check in. Only rappers. I never hear about anybody else checking in. That just lets me know that you are the company you keep. If you are a rapper and you talk about murder, kill, murder, kill, guns, bitches, whores, murder, kill, guns, bitches, whores, murder, kill, clothes, guns, jewelry, murder, kill. If you rap about that all day, you are the company you keep. You're going to surround yourself with that. I can almost guarantee you every rapper that does not rap about that type of stuff, they do not call and check in. They don't need protection. They don't move like that. They move with, they move in a, they move in a different manner. Now, again, I'm not saying that you shouldn't check in. I'm just saying that a lot of rappers who are who are not of the ilk of the mentality of murder, kill, guns, drugs, whores, bitches, ne negativity. If they're not of that ilk, what you think is going to happen? If that's what you talk about all day and that's what you from all day. Not all of them do this. But for the most part, if people see you that way, if that's your perception that you put out, 
that's what's going to happen. Now, Nipsey Hussle was a little bit different. He was a little bit different because it was bullshit that happened to him. You know what I'm saying? Bullshit. And that shouldn't have happened to him. That was bullshit. I don't know about everybody else. And and I think Big E made a mistake by going to Cali. That was, to me, that was his fatal flaw. He shouldn't have never went there. You getting booed on the stage on the Source of War stage? Nah, you, sh- you should be right back in New York. You don't play with that. Ain't that much money in the world for you to die for. Sorry. It's not. But let's keep it going. So the ones that we're talking about are like the Pop Smokes, the PMBs, and the Biggies. Those ones. Those in the Quando Rondo situation. So when we look at when they go in, Wack has said it in a um, Clubhouse interview, and he was saying how most of the times when bad things happen to these rappers is because they didn't check into the proper channels that they were supposed to check in with. And then it led me to my next point of thinking of, is the check-in really that necessary? But then Wack brought up another point, and he said, P. Diddy checks in. And it made me start to think of what is a check-in. So now I'm thinking I'm starting to so certain check-ins, not going to cap certain check-ins is. Well, that goes back to what I said about the check-in P Diddy, for the most part, he's, he's, he's a major figure, but how would I say this? Do P Diddy really have to check in though? Maybe he do it. Maybe he do it because for another level of protection, but do he really have to? I highly doubt it. At the time, I don't really believe that he don't need to check in. Excuse me. He don't need to check in. It's damn near extortion. That is certain check-ins. That is how some of them work. That is not all check-ins. Yeah, exactly some check-ins. Right. Check-ins is, is damn near extortion. That is certain check-ins. That is how some of them work. That is not all check-ins. Some check-ins are literally just what Wack was saying, tapping in with the people who are known in the area. Because sometimes game can save your life. Like how Wack was saying, he said it for, we're using Pop Smoke now as the example. With Pop Smoke's situation, they would have told Pop Smoke to never rent that Airbnb. Because that's basically, like you would want to be put up downtown in the hotel. Because with the Airbnb, there's that's a lot of access that you're giving to people to just come do something to you versus with a hotel. You got to get through security. You got to get through the front desk. You got to do all these things. It's more deterrence from getting to you at the hotel versus of getting to you at the Airbnb. You saw with the Airbnb. Well, see, my thing is, too, with Pop Smoke, right? I don't know the whole situation. I don't know the whole story of Pop Smoke. I don't know what happened, how he got. But I do know that you were in a space where people was easily, you was accessible to people very quickly and very easily. And you didn't really know the area. And I think a lot of times, man, these dudes, they do stuff like that. And that's what happens. That's what happens. They get put in a position where they are left there alone and by themselves. I just don't, I don't understand. I don't understand the mentality of some of these people. And this has, this is go far beyond a check-in. It's like you're going somewhere where you don't even know where you're at. You don't even know anything about the terrain or the lay of the land, but yet and still you're going there and you have this mind state that you are basically untouchable in a way and some of these boys they really want to get you out of here and i'm not blaming uh pop smoke because nobody should be trying to get nobody out of here but some of these people that's just their their way their, their way is they want to catch one and if they can get somebody that's popular and not get caught they could they can they will love that they will damn near have an orgasm off of something like that. You just walk in the front door. No, or kick in the door, or kick in, break a window, something. It's just not as safe 
at an Airbnb as it would have been at a hotel. But had Pop Smoke had checked in with the right people, they would have put him onto that game. And on that time, if anybody remembers at the time when Pop Smoke got killed in LA, and I'm not saying this to make it any better, but there were a lot of LA break-ins at that time. It's still a lot of LA break-ins, but at that time, but but again, and and I'm not really giving him no pushback. I'm just saying, like, so you're saying if he would have checked in, he would did this. But see, this is the thing, right? You don't know if you actually checking in if you're not gonna still get robbed or something's gonna happen to you. Some people could tell you to check in, and if you say, "Oh, why?" Well, oh, they say, "Well, we need this," and they say, "Well, okay, I'll give you this, but I don't have this." You know what I'm saying? Or if they say, "I can't really give you all that." Or they might give it to them and they still might not protect them. You know what I'm saying? You never know. You never know. I'm when Pop Smoke got killed and in the area where he was at, robberies were prevalent. Now, robbery homicide, I'm not so sure, but robberies in that area, of, especially in California, were up and they were climbing. I forget which celebrity it is. I don't remember the exact celebrity. I just remember that it was a major celebrity and their house had just gotten robbed and their house wasn't too far from where Pop Smoke was staying. So I'm more say that to say that does Wack have, what Wack said does hold a little bit of weight. It does. Cause then when you look at artists like a Biggie and a Pop, when they look at Biggie, Biggie, they always said that with Biggie, he should have never been down in LA with the beef that they knew that was that they had here in New York. And it, that's just no knock on Biggie. It's just they should have never been in LA. It and No, I agree with that. I think that that was a very bad move. It's like if you're beefing with a dude and he got killed. He got killed. If you beefing it with a dude and he got killed, you you didn't have anything to do with him getting killed. But you go to the West Coast. You really didn't want to go because it was the other guy who basically put you up to it. So you go to the West Coast. So, oh, Cali, oh, like, you know what I'm saying? Now, what do you think they're going to try to do to you? Like this, what this is what really makes me mad about some of these people. They don't be thinking. It's like, what are we doing? Like, what are we doing here? He would still be alive if he didn't go. At least he wouldn't have died that way. Never know what could have had happened, but but this is what I mean. Like, you guys make these bad decisions, and again, it wasn't his fault. It was the other guy's fault because the other guy was the one who told him he had to do it. But once you start booing you at the source awards, nah, and I already stayed out there for 30 days, 30 days. Come on, man. If that's no knock. Then we look at even the Quando Rondo situation. When Quando Rondo was going through that thing, Quando Rondo was, was he saying he don't check in? I believe he was saying how he don't check in and, he don't do this. Quando Rondo was the biggest crip. He was the biggest crip. Like, and that's cause he was the biggest crip. And you know what? It was. And then, um, I believe it was his boy. And it's the thing too. A lot of you niggas, y'all get on here and y'all think y'all invincible. Y'all think y'all Superman. Y'all think y'all could do whatever. Even Superman ain't invincible. He even has a weakness. That's what. That's what really kills me. It's like y'all broadcasted as if y'all the toughest people in the world. Half of you rappers are not even real. Y'all manufactured. Y'all not authentic. So a lot of these dudes who come to these different states and talking crazy. Like I'm not seeing a video where the dude, he was fighting the war. He's like, I'm from, I'm from, I'm from New York. I'm from New York. And, and white boy beat him up. White boy beat him up. And the other white boy saying, yeah, ain't no jumping over here. We ain't got to jump you. And the ball trying to get up. He... Ball punching in the back of his head. Boom, 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 boom. It's all right, dude, that's enough. That's enough, dude. He's done, dude. And he can't even, he literally can't even get up. Look crazy. 
That's what I mean. Like y'all go somewhere and y'all think that y'all invincible. You got the people. There's people that got better hands than you, and they could use them better than you. So I just I don't understand why people why these rappers are so the whole thing about checking in. I get it. I understand what he's saying, but at the same time. The reason why you niggas be in the trouble y'all in because y'all always broadcasting it as if y'all invincible. Y'all think that booth and that mic makes y'all invincible. There's real killers who don't rap. And they ready to put you in the ground. It was his boy. I, I don't I don't want to say the wrong name, but I believe it was his boy Pat. That um he got killed that day. And then Quando is it was they some speculate that it was meant for Quando, but for that to happen to him even when he goes up there it just shows did he check in with the right people and now why what is this pattern with the west coast the one thing i will say this is one of my running theories about the west coast and for anybody who's from the west coast from whether you're from the bay area atlanta Com i mean I, I said atlanta la compton whatever area of cali you're in i really want to know like y'all like for real for real, i really want to know y'all thoughts on this so when i look at california i this is my theory and then I'm even going to apply the PMB rock situation. In California, I feel like it's way easier to get away uh, it's way easier to get away with crime in California. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. I'm just saying it for for example. What other way can you be saying that? Like like you're saying it, you can you ain't saying it in a good way. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know about that one. But I do know, I kind of understand where you're coming from. You were saying, like, California, like, you can kind of get away with it because California is very lean. They have their, their laws are strict, but at the same time, they have different ways of going about things. California is like its own planet, man. I'm telling you, like, it's really like its own planet, like, for real. Like, it's like its own, its own country, I would say, not planet, but its own country. Well, I'm going to use PNB rock situation, and I'm going to use the pop smoke situation. With the PMB rock, he got killed in the um restaurant, and there's no repercussions that's probably gonna come from that, because they're talking about the son maybe getting off. There's a potential that the son probably is gonna get off. The dad's gonna get off, and so is the wife. All of them might get off for that murder in cold blood. Now I don't really know about his murder i know who he is i know he was from, i believe he's from philly um but i do know that he that they ran in the restaurant and shot him or something like that and his girlfriend was the one that dropped the location and all this stuff and sharing pictures like i can't blame the girl people blaming the girlfriend i can't blame the girlfriend i'm not gonna sit here and say well she should have never did that she should have never dropped the location i'm not gonna do that you niggas don't supposed to be killing niggas. You can't blame her for sharing her experience in California. You niggas don't supposed to be shooting and killing niggas. You got to blame the killers. You got to blame the people who actually put hands on the man. Why are you blaming a girlfriend? Oh, they should have known better. It's like black people have this thing, right? We feel like, well, they should have known better. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's crazy to me. It's crazy. In the, same, in the same breath, it's the same thing with Big. It's like, you should be able to travel to Cali. You should be able to without getting hit, or without getting nothing happening to you. But in your situation, it's a little bit different because your enemy got killed. So you shouldn't be moving. This guy here, he ain't know nobody. He didn't know anybody. I don't know if you, I know he was going back and forth with somebody. And then I seen a video where this dude, I'm telling you, I would have went right back home. I ain't no bitch. I'm definitely no bitch, but I ain't trying to die either. This dude, you should see in his eyes. You can tell he was a killer. He kept saying, where you at now? Where you at now? You saying pull up, but where you at now? Where you at now? Send, send me the location. Where you at now? It's like, totally don't care about and another thing too 
a lot of these niggas know that by in our nature we don't tell authorities or the police or anything and it's that's in our nature not to for not all of us for a good portion of us if you're from the streets you don't snitch you would rather die than actually tell the police that a nigga is trying to kill you and then he ends up killing you that's the bad part about it so it's like these niggas take advantage of that because they know that you're not going to speak on it so let's say say for example if you say um yeah i'm here I'm at such and such. And you're there with the police waiting for him. He know that you're not going to do that. He knows in, by nature and your heart, you've been trained as a young black lad all the way up to you grown that you can't tell the police or don't involve nobody. So you just got to take this hit the way it's coming because I'm a trust in you not to tell the police so I could come there and kill you. That's the mentality of us. I'm a trusting you not to tell the police for me to come kill you. Shit crazy. Then you look at the Pop Smoke situation. One of the guys are already out. And another one's about to be, they said he should be getting out soon. The other ones, they are, they're, they're gonna come home. Off, off a murder charge, these dudes are coming home. So it's more to say, it seems like in California, it's easier to get away with crime. And then on top of that, this is the other thing. With California, yo, they stand on business. I think that's the other thing. Yo, when it comes to, I'm just talk, more talking about in terms of not just the, not, not the out-of-towners, not just the out-of-towners, but I'm talking about in California, like in general, like not just with out-of-town. California got their own set of rules, bro. Like they are, it's a dog eat dog for real in Cali. Like you really could get ate up and spit out paws. Like no ditty, like I'm just saying. And then on top of that, I know some of this is gang bang. Like some of this is gang code, like gang shit. Like with the money sign sway though, that's gang shit. The tan the God situation, that that's her with the whole, she said she was smoking on her, her dead ex and everything. And they got get back for that. I believe that somebody was arrested for that also. Like, and that's another thing too. Again, you rappers be, uh, I hate to say it like this, but a good portion of you niggas, y'all be asking to get killed. Y'all really do. Cause that's, that's what y'all know. Y'all think that that shit is cute or it's cool or hey, some of y'all just, that's just what it is with y'all. But you're saying you're smoking on somebody like, come on, bro. You don't, you know, that's like a slap to the face of somebody knowing that you killed or got somebody killed or they even got killed by somebody else. And you saying you smoking on them. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on now. That's, that's not good. That's not good. So I'm actually going to be doing a Tan the God story also separate. So don't worry about that. That's actually a story I want to cover because they actually did say that they caught the person who killed her. Um, allegedly. Then the Nipsey Hustle situation, RIP Nip, man. It that just it, a bad, bad. I say wrong place, wrong time, but still California. It's in Cali, like, bro, and it just starts to make you think that wasn't to me. That wasn't the wrong place at the wrong time. He knew the dude who killed him, so it wasn't the wrong place at the wrong time. No matter where he would have went, the dude could have showed up anywhere he was at and could have got him. You know what I'm saying? I just think that that. We shouldn't be condoning these niggas killing each other or killing these niggas. That nigga should that nigga should not be breathing right now. I don't know. He I know he's locked up, but he shouldn't be breathing right now. He shouldn't be. You know what I'm saying? Because you you killed you killed one of the greatest. You know what I'm saying? For you to do something like that off of off of something that he didn't want to listen to. Like, come on, bro. But I think it's a little deeper than that. So let's keep it going. Is it the West Coast and rappers, do they mix? To a degree, I think the West Coast and rappers do mix. I think that the problem comes in with that rappers aren't realizing that they are high value commodities. And... I don't think, well, high value assets. Let me say that like that, high value assets. 
I don't think that some of these rappers are understanding just how powerful they are. And on top of them not understanding how powerful they are, they're going into these situations and just moving with blind faith. They need to stop doing that and they need to check the boxes and their P's and Q's because California is a doggy dog place. And that's just as simple as that. They could say the West Coast in general because it's the wild, wild west. That's what I like to call it. It's the wild, wild west. And regardless of whatever they want to feel about it, you need to be on your, you need to check your dots whenever you need to check every box whenever you're going out to cali yes checking in is a necessary thing when you're going to when you're going to the west coast everybody should be checking it if you're a rapper and you're of some status you need to be checking it it's just that simple that's that's see it seems like the people are the blueprint is there i just hope that people start to follow it for real for real but for real like what are y'all thoughts on this because when i look at california i don't think that the rappers are so much the, I don't think that it's just Cali that's the issue I think sometimes these rappers really need to understand who they are as people and understand where they're at cause no, I agree with that I do believe that rappers definitely need to understand that they are very 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 in demand it's like they're walking money or it's like they're a walking target you know what I'm saying and people, it doesn't matter. They don't really want your money. They just want to, they want the, they want the clout of saying they did something to you. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. So let's keep it going. It's almost done. Cali's not ch- caring, caring about who they are. It don't matter if you're a rapper or not, because even if you a high profile celebrity, you can still get the same work. They will rob, they rob them, all them celebrities blind in California. Just saying that that is not new. <laughs> That's nothing, nothing new. And then on top of that, just you can get killed anywhere in the world. There's a lot of places where rappers do get smoked. I just think in California, it's a lot more prevalent. But y'all can let me know y'all thoughts on this. What are y'all thoughts for real? Like, do y'all think that check-ins are necessary? Do y'all think that Cali is really just not it for rappers? Like, should rappers just stop going to California? Like, overall, if you're not going to check in, should you just not go? Other than that, man, let me know y'all thoughts in the comment section down below. But y'all already know it's your boy Icon Got You, aka the voice of the casual, aka Mr. Leather on Butt. And like I always tell y'all, man, please don't kill me. These are just my thoughts. <laughs> and always be you and never be afraid to reinvent yourself. And until next time, y'all, I'm out. Oh, Alright, make sure y'all go ch- follow his channel. It's a pretty dope video. Yeah, man. I really uh really like that video it wasn't too much that i disagree with he said a lot of things that i agree with he said most of the stuff i agree with um that he said but the thing is man we put ourselves in these situations and i think that that even if it's not our fault it's kind of our fault because we 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 need to learn how to move we need to learn how to move in a way where we're protecting ourselves you know what i'm saying and at the same time sometimes you just gotta not say nothing you know what i'm saying but i believe that a lot of these a lot of these rappers they they're so hung up on displaying everything everybody and that's the bad part about hip-hop it's the bad part about rap music is you have to be seen for people to like you you know what I'm saying? People got to see you. They got to see you on everything. You got to be on everything. You got to act like you doing this. You got to act like you doing that. You got to display money and jewelry. You got to have all these chains on your neck. I walk around with all my jewelry. Nobody's ever going to tell me I can't wear my stuff. I'll be in the ground before they do that. Yeah, you definitely going to be in the ground. Because And they'll leave your jewels right with you. Some of them won't even take it. They'll shoot you right there and leave it right there. So thing is you need we need to start thinking a little more and using our head a little more and stop stop thinking that we're invincible because we're not you know what i'm saying and some of these rappers i think y'all really need to uh some of y'all may need to check in but some of y'all really i believe some of y'all just should just should just move accordingly you know what i'm saying and that's it but either way man i'm out of here see y'all peace bye man it's what you talk you know what it is make sure y'all like that video man and go subscribe to this channel, man. I'm going to put the source in the description. All right, see y'all. Peace, bye.